All right, welcome back. We are getting ready to start match number two. Uh, and just a reminder, we are raising money for UVA Children's Hospital in Charlottesville, Virginia through Extra Life. Uh, if you go to legendaryleagues.com or scan the QR code on the screen during the match, or click the link below this video, you can go to the donation page and see information about the uh, the promos that we have available here or other incentives for naming cards or creating a match setup. Um, I will say that uh, I had a large donation come in today that pushed me past the $15,000 mark. And that essentially spawn is funding two extra mini marathons at some point this year. Um, so it's going to be a mix of solo and two-handed setups. Uh, can't wait to s I can't wait to see what comes in for those. Um, it should be interesting. So we are raising money for the kids today, uh, and I'm happy to do it. Okay, so. Uh, let's see, what are we What are we going to do? We're going to go and take a look at, at uh, battle number two here. Okay, so, battle number two, this hits close to home. Mephisto, this creep is the worst, and he just won't leave Hellcat alone. Protect your deck as best you can. Keep your enemies close, and your clones closer. Uh, again, special setup rule is we are setting aside one copy of part-time TI to be able to recruit later as we need it. Our mastermind is Mephisto, our scheme is the Clone Saga. Villain, we have Wards of the Netherworld. And Henchmen, we have Ghost Racers. This was made before... Before the new ruling from What If... Uh, from the What If core set about not chaining those. I think... I, I put them in just thematically because I needed someone to kind of work with Mephisto like that. To, to, just accompany Mephisto. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to play with the new rule, just in case there are two Ghost Racers on top of my deck, or on top of my BP pile, only one of them is going to come back. Alright, and our heroes for this game are going to be Hellcat, Mockingbird, and Daredevil, the original Daredevil from Marvel Knights. Here we go. So this is a pretty interesting setup. The start. Um, yeah, so this deck, this setup is all about watching your own deck. Right? So look at the top card of your deck, discard it or put it back. If there's a shield here, you can send it under cover. Choose and Daredevil is all about choose a number, then reveal the top of your deck. If it was that cost, draw it. If it was that card, draw it and repeat this process. Right? And then, of course, we have part time PI to give you a little bit of a heads up on what's coming your way. All right. Um, oh, I didn't have reset stuff from from the last game. I totally forgot about that. Uh, it's been a while since I've had to do multiple games back to back. So uh, let's see. Tactics go to four. Twist go to eight. Evil wins when two villains with the same card name have escaped or the villain deck runs out. All right. So our evil win counter goes up. Two does not sound like a lot. Um, wait, what? That's weird. Hold on. Okay, so let me let's let's step through this because I haven't played either of these in a very long time. Mephisto can attack whenever a player gains a wound. Put it on top of the player's deck. He always leads the Underworld, and then Master Strike, each player reveals a Marvel Knights hero. Okay, good, I've got Daredevil. Uh, or gains a wound. The Clone Saga, eight twists, each player reveals two non-gray heroes with the same card name, or discards down to three cards. Evil wins when two villains with the same card name have escaped, or the villain deck runs out. Okay. I'm realizing, like, oh, if you just randomized, like, MC, this with an MCU setup, you're not going to have two villains with the same name. So, that that's weird. I never really thought about that before. Okay. So, let's get to work. Alright, turn number one. Hey, look, it's Scheme Twist. Each player reveals two non-gray heroes. Oh. 
This card down to three. Well, one, two, three. That's what I get. All right, so I need to cycle someone. Oh, wow. Um, it's a really expensive HQ. Really expensive. I think I'm going to get rid of one of the Spy Masters because they will take time to ramp up. And I think having one is going to be good enough. Ugh, another six cost. Okay. All right, let's spend our three. Now, do we take, take cover or do we take part-time PI? That's about the same. Um, I want to move the HQ a little bit. So I'm going to go for take cover. In this scenario, both of them looking at the top of your deck, they're pretty similar in effect. So, um, but being able to send something under cover is pretty nice and important. So, all right, we have the mindless ones. Ambush. Mindless ones capture the rightmost hero in the HQ that costs four or less. Oof. Sorry, Bobby. And then fight. Choose a player to make a demonic bargain with the wards of another world to gain that hero. All right, bargains are going to be pretty easy up front. All right, so we've got four and two. Four and two. Can't do anything with that two attack. Um, I would... Gosh, it's so expensive. I've, I've got to go ahead. I've got to take this part-time PI. Yeah. We had two cards that cost six in the HQ. We're, we're going for the recruit card, yeah. Let's, let's not be completely stupid about this. All right, three, six. All right, Satana Hellstrom. Fight, choose a player to make a bargain with Satana to rescue three bystanders. There we go. All right, what do we have here? We've got, well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. Barbie and a donut. All right. Five. Hmm. Do I go with Spy Master? Actually, yeah. Let's go with the Spy Master. Let's take this while we've got the five. Because I've still got both of my two recruit cards in my deck. I should be able to pick this up pretty easily. And if I'm really lucky, I can get one of these. This is also very good. So choose the number, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's that cost, you get plus two attack. So with this kind of setup, it should be an easy, uh, an easy way to trigger this, right? Turn four. Yep. Ghost racers, ambush, rise of the living dead, fight, reveal red hero, or pay one of your heroes with an attack guy. With an attack icon? Yes, an attack icon. Couldn't quite tell if it said an or no. Alright. Take cover. Number two. I will... I'll leave it. Sure. And then we've got another... Two. And then Barrel Rider, Takeshi, and Vanessa for three attack. That's great. I can spend the three... Fight the Ghost Racers, KO, Vanessa. And then for four. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the radar set, actually. When most of my deck still costs zero, it's a pretty those are pretty good odds. I'll take it. The yellow card, which sets up my my other class triggers that I have. Yeah. All right. Three, four, five, six. Scheme twist. All right. Oh, I forgot. We already had one. So, twist number two. 
reveal two non-gray heroes with the same card name. I do not have them. I'm going to keep one, two, three, four, five, potentially six. I'll discard these. And then I have to cycle. Uh, this setup is not really about going after the villain deck, so I'm going to get rid of Demon Sight. There's another tick cover. Ooh, that's good. All right, now the question is, do I want... So I can play 10 for 1. I've got these two. That, that's going to give me another 4. But the question is, which order do I want? So I can potentially thin my deck out, or I can get a bonus recruit which will get me blind justice. I think that's what I want right now. So we'll take cover, look at the top card, I'll discard it. And then I will look at the top card of the hero deck. Radar sense, Ooh, that's good. Keep that there. And then gain one more recruit, spend it all, take blind justice here. All right. Satanish. Ambush. Choose a player to make a demonic bargain to reveal the top card of the hero deck and gain it if it costs four or less. So, that's me. Oh, I'm going to gain a wound. That gets discarded. Yeah. I gain a wound. Mephisto sends that wound to the top of my deck. Right? Uh, I'm going to double check because I know we play the... Um, Bargains a few different ways. Yeah, you always discard. Okay, making sure. Uh, you always get the reward, so I gain it if it costs four or less. Yep, okay, so we are good. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. No, no, no. That was, that was the card that was on top of my deck. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yep, yep. Okay, so now we will get the top card of the, the hero deck. It costs four or less. I will gain it. Okay, now we're caught up. All right, what do we have in our hand this turn? Not a ton. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'll take it. Um, choose one, send a card from the shield officer stack under cover, or... Plus one for two shield level each two shield levels I have. I'll send one under cover. Alright. Uh that's four recruit and one attack. And a donut for another. Alright, for four recruit. Ooh, let's see. I think I'm I think I want to take cover. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for take cover. Gives me another way to thin out my deck. And gives me more recruit to try and get to these big daredevil cards. Which are gonna be the ones that probably won't be in the game. Alright, I know I've got a wound coming up. We're reshuffling. All right, three, four, five, six. Master Strike. All right, Master Strike. Each player reveals a Marvel Knights hero. Nope. Gain a wound to the top of my deck. Oh, corrosive webbing. You may cave this wound to gain another wound. Play another card after the strike. Baron Mordo. Might choose a player to make a bargain with Mordo to draw two extra cards at the end of the turn. Hmm. Alright, let's start here. Take cover. Top card of my deck. I'll discard it. Top card of my deck. 
I'll discard it and then send it under cover. Shield level two. All right, plus another one. What can I do with five? Uh, for five, I can get battle staffs. That seems pretty good. All right, I've got one, two. I could go up to. I've only got a shield level of two. So this could be one, two, three attack. I can't do anything with three, so I will just send an officer under cover. Bring that up to level three. I'm gonna need something else to track that. All right. Here we go. Um, two attack. Okay, for five. I th yeah, let's take the battle staffs for four. Oh, second chance at life. Ah. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hope for some attacks soon. All right, scheme twist. All right, all in a scheme twist. Each player reveals two non-gray heroes with the same card name. No, discard down to three. There we go. All right, I'm gonna cycle somebody. I definitely need to keep this around. Um, let's see, I've got, I'm gonna have four, so I'm taking one of these two. Those can't go away. I, I'm saying I gotta keep this. So, what do I want to get rid of? I think I can get these sixes. I think I can. I'm gonna get rid of the radar sense. Battle stabs. All right. All right, so four. I'll look at the top card of my deck. Ooh, it's Blind Justice. All right, keep that there. Um, all right, so for four, do I take the Battle Staff? Yeah, I need some attack right now. I'll take, take that. Cheaper. I've got a shot of getting it with this last hand before I reshuffle. All right, it's another Scheme Twist. All right, do I have two of the same? I do not. Same card name. Nope. Alright, so discard down to three. One, two, three. You're gone. Cycle. Hmm. I can buy this. Alright, I think Blind Justice has to go now. Whoa. Careful. Don't disturb the mindless ones. Alright. Three. Um. Let's start with a radar sense. I have to reshuffle. I'm going to guess zero. That is the top card of my deck. Because I've only KO'd one card so far. No, two. I have, one of them is undercover. So I've still got ten zero cost cards plus a couple of wounds. It's, it's a five. Oof. That's not right. Okay. Um, hey. But I bet the top no the top card of my deck costs five. It does. So I get four for playing this. I draw this. Um two three look the top card. Discard it, put it back. We will discard it and send Ken undercover. Secret agent Ken. Alright, now I'm gonna get one. I could get two more. That's not bad. Yeah, let's do that because I can at least fight two things that way. Let's start off fighting the mindless ones for four. Make a bargain. Oh, gain a wound to the top of my deck. So I gain this. This goes away. And now I'm going to spend my five. Hmm go I feel like I want to save Mordo for later when I'm more likely to have like a more concentrated deck no we're gonna spend five 
What's it, Tana? Make a bargain. Ah, oh, calf cramp. All right, rescue three bystanders. Let's see who we get. Uh, the cloning technician. Oh. Wait, actually, that works on the. That works on sidekicks. Um. Next hero you recruit this turn. Yep, cost three or less gets clone. All right, private investigator. Choose recruit. Ooh. Okay, I'll choose recruit. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. I could pick up two of either of these this way. Um, I'm at two recruit right now. Honestly, I'm going to leave the PI behind. I'm going to take the shield agent. Alright, and then the third one here is computer hacker. At the end of this turn, I get one extra card. Okay, so these go away. I get to clone whoever I recruit. So, question is, do I want two copies of part-time PI or do I want two copies of take cover? Um, hmm, I, oh gosh, this, this is tough. Because I have a spy master, I think I want two copies of take cover. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Take cover and go find another. There is another one, right? There's no way. Wait, seriously? I have all of them? <laughs> I just cloned it, and I didn't realize I had four already. Okay, double-checking this one more time. Okay, looking for shield icon. Battle stabs. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right. There's no way I've gotten four of those. All right. All right. Shuffle that hero deck. I've spent my three, and we are good to go. I get one extra card. And... Next turn, another Baron Mordo. Right. All right. So, oh, lots of stuff happening here. Okay, battle stabs. I have shield level four, so I get to draw a card. Then a lot of starter cards. One, two, three. Recruit. Look at the top card. I will discard it. And then two more. Reveal the top card. Let's go for the hero deck this time. Cat like agility. Let's keep that there. I will gain the extra recruit. So I can have eight. Yes. Uh, and then two attack. Um, normally I would be all about getting second chance at life, but Man Without Fear is real good as well. Uh, seven attack. I mean, that's seven tenths of a Mephisto. So, I'm going to take that for eight. All right. Satanish is... Uh, no, I can't hit either of them, so it doesn't matter. All right, that goes away. One, two, three, four, five. Shuffle. Seventy huh. percent of a Mephisto. All right. Five, six. Ghost racers. Uh, there is there is a bystander on top of my victory pile. So nothing happens there. Um, let's KO the corrosive webbing and gain a different wound. 
just cause oh wait no if I mm, that goes to the top of my deck. <laughs> uh that's fine. That's fine. I didn't even think about that. Um let's draw it, I guess. Draw that wound. Plus another one. And then two, what's on top? Send it undercover. Level five. Plus two more. Gets me a four. Uh for four. Do I take two cat like? Um, first off, let's fight the ghost racers for three. And then KO one with an attack icon. For recruit, I can take the two cat likes or I can take part time PI. I think I'm going for cat like agility at this point. Because it's attack and draw. It's a thing. One, two, three, four, six. Steam twist. Oh. We're discarding down. We're gonna take. We're gonna keep those and get rid of these. Um. Did I? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oops. Nope. Quest number five. Okay. I need to cycle someone, and I think we've already said we're gonna get rid of five master here. Oh, a backflip. Very nice. Very nice for the setup. Um, let's start with Battle Stabs. Two, draw a card. Okay. Two, recruit. Top card. I will... Uh, I'm gonna leave it. Because then I can use my Radar Sense to call zero. And get four attack. And then blind justice for another four. And then draw the blood. Half crap. Alright. Ten. Ooh, I've got ten. Let's spin that. And take our first tactic. Damned if you do. Each other player KOs a bystander from their victory pile or gains a wound. Uh, yeah, I think this... Private Investigator looks funny, so I'm going to KO him. I don't want another wound right now. I like my deck the way it is. For two... Do I want a sidekick? I don't know if I need a sidekick. I'm just going to let it go. Yeah, it's fine. Four, five, six... Another Scheme Twist. Unfortunately, this is not a timer scheme. Alright, do I have a pair? I do. I have take cover. <laughs> we have successfully cloned. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna cycle... I don't think I need the backflip. So we'll get rid of that. Alright, so I've got two, four, six, seven... And I can have this go to 8, so yeah, we'll do this. Take cover. Um, I'll leave it there. And then I'm going to play part-time PI. I'll look at the top card of the hero deck. The radar sense. Sure. I'm not digging. For, I don't... Well, no, let's, let's go ahead and dig. Put it on the bottom. There is still one more rare that we haven't seen yet. <coughs> I will draw a card. Now we're going to take cover. For two. Uh, discard it or put it back. Uh, we'll put it back. And then two more. Oh, wow. I did not realize. Still have two more. Alright, let's spend eight. And take second chance at life. Oh, that backflip would would be good for something like that. And then here. So one for the spy master. I could get 
two extra points. It's not enough, so we will send someone undercover. Oops. Uh, Yo-Yo goes undercover and brings me up to shield level 6. Alright. Three. Alright. Almost there. The good thing about going through this mini twist early, I guess, it, it, it hurt my early progression a bit. Uh, but it means that I'm going to have, I'm more likely to keep a good hand towards the end. Alright, here's a Master Strike. Uh, reveal a Marvel Knight's hero? Yes. Or I could gain a wound. No, let's not. Okay, play another card. Ghost Racers. The others are buried, so nothing to worry about there. All right, um, I have nothing actually to set this up. I have two battle stabs to draw and a spy master. So let's see what we can draw into. Draw one, draw two. There we go. Let's look at the top card of my deck. I'm just going to send this under cover. All right, level seven. Now, I'm going to go into this kind of blind. Radar sense, choose a number. I think, oh gosh, I've got a bunch of threes at this point, though. How many zeros do I have? So I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six. I've gotten, I've gotten half of my starter cards out. So I've got six plus two wounds. So I've got eight in here. I know I've got at least four of these. I'm just going to go zero. Let's call zero. Yeah, there it is. Plus two. All right, now, man without fear. Gives me seven. I'm going to call zero. I draw it. I will call zero. No, it was a three. Okay. And then, plus one recruit. And then a spy master. So this could going to give me one to play. And it could give me three. Three extra. Not bad. Uh, actually, it's pretty good, let's be honest. Yeah, let's take the three extra. I'm at level seven right now. I've got two wounds. <laughs> All right, first let's spend ten. And let's take our second tactic. Pain begets pain. Choose any number of wounds from your hand or discard pile. Discard pile. The player to your right gains them. Thanks. These, I will gain them. All right. So, so much for that. I've got nine left. What can we do for nine? Uh, for nine, we can fight Satanish and the Ghost Racers. Uh, ooh, I've got a red card, so the Ghost Racers won't get rid of anybody. Yeah, sounds good. Three. Take care of those Ghost Racers. I've got a red card. And then we're going to spend our last six. Fight Satanish. Uh, fight same effect. Cost six or less. Okay. Make a bargain. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. When I gain them, they go to the... T when I gain them from Mephisto. Can I set up one? Because I knew I was going to do this. Any number. So, yeah. I can put one of these on top of my deck. Cool. Um, choose a player to make a bargain. Okay. No wound. I don't gain an extra one, that is. I reveal the top card of the hero deck. Gain it if it costs six or less. I will gain the battle stats. Awesome. All right, and then for three... Sure, let's take part-time PI. All right, three, six. 
The radiation scientist. Oh, Kao's a hero. Not a problem. I always get those confused. Alright. Uh yeah, so turn. Okay. Oh boy. Uh got a calf cramp. That's that's not great, but it is what it is. Um let's take a second chance at life. Six. And now that I've got a yellow trigger. Take cover. Look at my top card. Discard it or put it back. I'm gonna discard it. So then I can take cover again. Uh, I'm still looking for ways to send things under cover, so I'm going to leave this here. And then two more. Six and six. Uh, for six, let's spend four. Take a battle staffs. And then we'll spend six. Fight Baron Mordo. Make a bargain. Uh, gain one to the top of my deck. Alright, but I draw two extra cards. And I get to KO a hero. So that's good. We'll KO that guy. Alright, so I got two extra cards. Plus three, four, five, six. Next turn. Master Strike. I have a Marvel Knights hero. No wound for me. I still have Daredevil there, and now we've got a Scheme Fist. That deck is getting very thin. I've got five turns left. Uh, there's twist number seven. Do I have a pair? Take cover. Oh, I do not have a pair. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to discard down to three. Mm. All right, let's see what we've got here. Cat like battle staves. Okay. We can get rid of those guys pretty safely. Okay. So these set up the top of my deck. This is big attack. And lets me draw. I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm going to hit with this. So... Let's take... Actually... Uh, hmm. I did this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And maybe one more. I think I'm, I think I'm getting rid of these. I need to cycle, get rid of a backflip. It's the infinity formula. Okay. All right, so before I play Blind Justice, I need to know what's there. So let's start with part-time PI. Look at the top card of my deck. It's a take cover. I like that. Uh, leave it there. <clears throat> Blind Justice. I guess the top card of my deck is a three. It's a three. I will draw it. Alright. Two on the top card. Send him under cover. She's a level eight. And then battle stabs. For two more and draw a card. Let's see where we go. Oh, getting those cat like agilities might have been good. I've got a lot of cards here, though. Alright, Takeshi gives me one more. So I'm at seven. We'll spin the five. Fight Mordo. Make a bargain. Oh, it's wound. That's fine. I don't gain a wound at that point. And I get two extra cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Running out of time. Satana. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. All right. I think we might win. <laughs> we just might win this round. All right. Well, let's start with two and draw a card. 
Ooh, I just wanted to get that blue trigger going. Or the, the yellow trigger. All right, let's take cover with the top card. I will discard it. Uh, let's go get our top card again. I will put this back. All right, now, man without fear for seven. I'm going to guess a four on top. And then I'll guess a three. Yes, I'll guess three again. Oh, it's a zero. That stays there. All right. Um, well, my radar sense detects a zero top, zero cost on top of my deck. So I get four attack for that. I will look at the top card. Yeah. I will send this under cover. Shield level nine. Oh, that. Uh, I might be able to draw into. Uh, the spy card this turn. Two here, draw a card, my five cost. Nope. Um part-time PI. I'm gonna look at the top of my deck. I'm going to put this on the bottom, because that's not what I want right now. But then I will draw a card. Battle staffs, sure. Two more. Draw a card. Calf cramp! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Two more, draw a card. There's there's my spy master. One plus four. Yeah, that's gonna give me five total. And let's finish this off. Second chance at life for another six. Alright. There we go, we are good. I've got I'm gonna finish this game with calf cramp. I'm gonna spend twenty. Uh, let's see. Start off with 10. Oh, you go over there. The price of failure. Each other player with Alley Mastermind Tactic. In their victory pile gains a wound. I definitely have one. That counts itself. Let's spend another 10. Oops. Ah! Hold on. Do I have... Oh, I don't have a... Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I still had 10 left. Oops. Alright. I was trying to hit the button for the next tactic. Each other player puts all the zero cost cards from the discard pile on top of their deck in any order. One, two, three. Boom. Alright. That's our fourth tactic. Um, but now that I've got those zero costs on top, I can spend five and bargain here. Rescue three more bystanders. Oh, it's the legendary game designer and Tony Baloney. <laughs> Again, a shard. Uh, I don't need that shard. But that's game. That is the end. I've got the city clear and I've got this done. Both of these games, I could have gone to final blow. If I was using that. Alright. Let's get rid of those. Set that aside. I have nine undercover points. Plus one is ten. These are six apiece. Okay. Alright. So, one, two, well, okay. There's ten. There's ten. 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 Alright, so that's... Alright. Fifty points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty, fifty, sixty points. And let's go ahead and walk. All right, we won that game. Total VP is 60. All right, and we will go to battle three in just a few minutes. Um, first, uh, a reminder that we've got these 
a lot of different types of promos available uh, this weekend. And uh, yeah, so uh, every donation uh, or yeah, uh, limit one per donor, but every any donation will get you a copy of this uh, foil end of turn effect reminder card. Um, I'm finding it actually very useful today. I made this more for me than anybody else. Um, and then we've got our, uh, let's see, there we go, uh, full art promo cards and sketch variants as well. Uh, those are available with any donation. Uh, each donation you make for at any level will gain you one of those at random. Um, all right, and of course, you know, we've still got all of our other promo cards available. The Messiah Complex set, the Astral Plane, Destroyed City Spaces. Those are available at different donation levels. You can name some of the cards, like Calf Cramp. Calf Cramp! Um, that, that show up in the games. Uh, Bystander's Wounds, we've got four starter agents left to go. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you can also uh, design a setup to play. Uh, for me to play. So, uh, lots of options there for donation levels. Uh, and so I want to thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Uh, spread the word if you can. Uh, let people know about this fundraiser and all the great work that we are doing here. Uh, not just this weekend, but all year long. All right? Thanks. See you soon.